Hey babe, what are you working on? Um, I'm super excited. So <laughs> I went down to Tucson and I picked up this arcade from David. It was it was it was a Williams cabinet and he said it used to be a Smash TV. And I was like, oh that's cool. But I didn't realize something until I brought it home and I was looking at the side of it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I think the Smash TV artwork is still there. So I'm using a product called Citrus Strip to take off a layer of black paint so I could see if I could preserve the real artwork underneath it. And if you look, like come in here, like if you look, like I'm able to, you know, with a little bit of work and effort, oh, wow. reveal the actual artwork, you know, that's, that's underneath here. And it's actually preserved. Like the black, yeah, the black paint has actually preserved it. So... <laughs> like I, I, I just love this because I'm able to keep the original artwork. It takes a lot of work and obviously I'm going to have a lot of black paint, but look at what happened on the other side. Like I was able to do the whole entire thing on the other side. I don't know if you can get in there, but you might have to jump over a couple things. But yeah, you can see it's all, I've been able to do the whole entire thing. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah, so I have a lot of work to do. Obviously, this this cabinet was kind of a mess. The screen was turned vertically and it was turned into this multi cabinet so i'm just excited that i'm going to be able to actually preserve i'll be able to preserve it and restore it back to what it was and i don't need to put on reproduction artwork because the original artwork's under there guys i gotta be real with you i wasn't sure i wanted to take on this project but when i realized it was an original smash tv i love that game so i figured hey what the heck so the monitor first of all is mounted vertically someone converted this to a 60 in one and then they removed the two boards on the top and the bottom and those boards would have been where the original monitor mounted in a horizontal fashion. So I got to replace those boards. So we're going to need to figure that out, how to get replacement boards in. And we're going to have to pull out this beast of a monitor um, and turn it back horizontal. So what I'm going to suggest here is if you're going to remove this monitor, a 25 inch monitor, you can do a 19 by yourself, but 25s can be really heavy and I'm stubborn and I'm going to do this stuff by myself. And you know, I don't know. It's just the way I am. So I decided to do it by myself. I pulled it out okay, but I broke that bottom board off. Uh, I didn't really know whether or not I was going to be able to do it without breaking that off, but that's okay. It's a support for the monitor bezel. That'll be easy to put back on. And you can see by my face, uh, this was a job that really should be for two people. What the hell? I, I, I honestly, I can't even begin to tell you how much I dislike I'll never know who it is, but how much I dislike the person that turned a Smash TV into a 60 in one. Yeah. Yeah. And they and they they built all this this nonsense inside the cabinet that I have to get rid of now. But you know what? If we didn't do this, there'd be no Smash TV. This would be a 60 in one. So I'm gonna look at it positively and just say, look, we're doing a good thing, despite the frustrations that it might be causing me right now. Okay, so we got to measure these little cross areas so we can figure out what we need to buy exactly at Lowe's. So I'm going to get two pieces of wood, make sure that, uh, that they'll fit in here, and then I'm just going to cut them to size. So those are the two boards that I bought at, uh, at Lowe's, and because I need to cut them 25 inches, I needed two of them in order to make that happen. So we're going to cut it real quick here. And uh, this is a saw that actually Kim got me for Christmas. So see, I can I can use power tools. You guys are always giving me crap. It's taking me a little bit to line it up, but you know, I got this. What could possibly go wrong? I'm the power tool master now, man. That's it. Just give me a. <laughs> Anyways, you guys know what's up. It's a really clean. It's a it's a pretty easy cut. It's just two cuts. And then we should be good to go. And as long as I'm actually halfway decent at measuring things, the outcome should be um, that this fits and we're good to go. So let me finish up here and then we'll go back and see if it fits into the cabinet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, moving right along now. I'm gonna take the two beams or crossbars and make sure they fit okay. They were pretty snug. I measured them almost exactly to size. So I had to bang it in just a little bit, but it was perfect. It gave a nice snug fit on both the bottom one. And now we'll take care of the top one. The top one was a little bit more stubborn when I put it in. 
the top one i had to use a mallet to get it into place but the good news is the sizing was right the measurements were right and you know i know it seems kind of minor but i'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for this i have a history of not being the best with woodworking so something minor like this is a big win for me personally and so i'm gonna take it i'm taking the win on this and uh yeah it might seem a little bit crazy because it's literally just a straight cut but hey sometimes you got to be proud of yourself with these little accomplishments <laughs> getting out of my comfort zone a little bit but anyway so i got the two cross beams in they look pretty good the only thing i want to make sure we do here is we're going to put these l brackets in the reason why i want to put these in is because obviously with the weight of the monitor i want to make sure because it's not obviously now the original boards i want to make sure that it's reinforced so we don't have any problems in the future um God forbid the monitor fell out, fell to the ground or something. We want to avoid that at all costs. So now I'm going to take the monitor chassis and put it in, make sure it's all fitting okay and it's lined up all right. And once I feel like it's in a good spot, then I'm going to screw it down. I'm going to screw this thing down and make sure that it looks like it's aligned because obviously I want to make sure when I put the monitor bezel and all that stuff in, it's going to fit without an issue. Okay, so we're just going to screw this thing down really quick, make sure it's good, nice and tight. And then once that's done, we're going to just put the monitor back in. Again, I'm going to be stubborn and do it myself. It really should be a two-man job. But uh, like I said, I'm a stubborn guy and I want to do it and I can't wait. Roundhouse Rudy, I could have called him up. But I was like, you know what? I got this. What could possibly happen? Nothing. It was uneventful. So I put the monitor in, lined it up okay, uh, and, and, it, and it fit great. So I'm pretty proud that uh, that we were able to get the monitor back without really any issues so it's pretty straightforward and honestly it's it's not that bad it seemed like a daunting task at first but it was my first time doing something like this and and honestly it, it was pretty easy okay i got the crt in and this is just preliminary testing sorry i don't have my good microphone i'm doing this kind of ad hoc but anyways um i don't know i put the bad dudes pcb in there just to do a test so let's see if it fires up. I don't know, the quality of the CRT was questionable. It might need a recap, but let's see. Let's see if it actually works. Okay. I see an image, which is good. Um, yeah, it looks like maybe the horizontal size needs to be adjusted, but overall, it seems okay. So for right now, let's just kind of go with that. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's also really dirty. Ah, shit! Fuck! Anyways, <laughs> yes, it's dirty and a... Ah! All right, guys, that about wraps up this video. I'll show you a couple more outstanding things that we're gonna get to in part two of this video. One is this control panel. This control panel has been completely destroyed. I was able to get a nice reproduction control panel from a seller on Etsy. It's already pre-routed out on the back for all the Wico joysticks I'm gonna put into it, so that's really great. I got some artwork from Escape Pod, so if you're looking for reproduction artwork for your arcade cabinet projects, this is actually the monitor bezel, the protective coating still on it. And then I also have the marquee right here. So the marquee looks really nice. Again, that's a skate pod. And then the other thing I wanted to tell you, it's inside the house, but I also have the artwork for the control panel, the control panel overlay. That's from Game On Graphics. So that's Scott over at Game On Graphics. He's really great too. And I'll have links in the description to all these vendors. Now, if you're really interested in my project, you'll also wanna check out my buddy, Scarlet Sprites. He just did his, it's all completed. He did a great video documenting the process. He had his own set of challenges different than mine. Uh, his monitor was actually correctly uh, in the correct orientation. So that was good, but he had some problems with the PCB and he'll talk about that all in his video. So definitely go check out Scarlet Sprites and check out his video and show him some support. If you enjoy his content, definitely consider subscribing as well. So anyways, let me know what you think about this project. Give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, put your comments below, I wanna hear from you. Did you love Smash TV growing up? Was this one of those like nostalgic titles for you? Like it was me, I'd love to hear from you. And that's it for now, guys. We will see you on the next one.